Good morning, 47. And good morning to you. This is Game Informer's Leo Vader. Sean Bean is playing the first elusive target in Hitman 2. Sean Bean, famous actor you may know from Pixels. Elusive targets in Hitman are time-limited missions, so it's specific content. You have two weeks only to do it. Once you start it, you can retry as much as you want until you kill him or you die. Then you can never try it again. The other complication I'm trying is to do Silent Assassin, so I can only kill the target, I can't kill anybody else, and I can't be spotted by anybody. This guy's named Dave Reddy, he's an original character for this mission only, he's telling me that I need to get dressed in a believable outfit before he can take me to the meeting with Sean. I'm gonna head to my two favorite engineers. The elusive target system really rewards level knowledge. Knowing where different outfits can be acquired going in can save you a ton of time, and you can't really afford to do trial and error when death is permanent. Now, here's 10 minutes of me doing trial and error. So luring this engineer over to get his outfit is kind of a freebie, but I still have to hide the body, because if the body's found, then I lose Silent Assassin. The only place I know of to dump the body is down below. So I try to turn on the radio again to lure the other guy, then loop around, but he's coming way too fast. So I try to throw a coin to distract him, but he is way more interested in the radio, and that is a crime noticed and a restart. The first of many. The second time you try something in these games, it's always ten times faster than the first time. I'm sprinting right past Dave, right to the garage, throw the coin to lure one of the engineers away, bonk the other one with the soda can, drag him away, throw an extra coin for a little more time, and I've got the outfit. Problem is, I need another coin to get away without this guy noticing me, because he's got the white dot above his head, meaning he'll see through my disguise. So I spend the other coin to get him to look away, but problem is now he's got 75 cents of mine, and in my headcanon, 47 takes the bus home after every mission, so I've got to get those coins back. So now I've got the engineer outfit, and I can head back to Dave, who's going to bring me upstairs for the meeting with Sean Bean's character, Mark Faba. Sean Bean, famous actor you may know from Pixels. He's been waiting very patiently, staring at a blank wall, waiting for somebody to walk in so he can dramatically spin around. This meeting is a debriefing for him on an upcoming target. He's a bit of an assassin in his own right. As soon as the meeting's over, I follow him down the hall a bit. I'm still just trying to gather more information at this point, trying to figure out what his route is and how I can exploit it. Following him into his office, I see a little bit of possible intel on the desk, but it is not mine to pick up. You, the intelligent looking dude. Oh, thank you. And of course, since I've been spotted, it is time to restart. This time, I'm gonna bring the electronic key hacker I'm gonna try a little bit of a different route. I'm gonna head right over to the stairs and crack my way in, see if I can sneak up suit style, even though nobody will want me on the top floor when I'm not in an appropriate outfit. So I'll keep sneaking around trying to find a good entry point. I lure this scientist over, thinking I can get his outfit and be a little more powerful on this floor, a little more freedom of movement. But as I'm dragging the body, I get spotted, so that's a restart. All right, it's speed run time. Run to the door, hack it, shoot the camera, get to the scientist, distract him, and then when I go up on him, he whips around and notices me. So he is now a witness and I have to restart. Here's my live reaction to that. That's infuriating. All right, sprint, hack the door, shoot the camera, distract the scientist, beam him from downtown with the robot arm, and then guess what? You cannot dress up as that scientist, so let's Take it from the top. Starting fresh, I catch a lucky break and notice that there's an engineer sitting right in the coat check, five feet from the spawn. I had to double check and make sure that he is not in Miami normally. They added him just for this mission because he is very easy to impersonate. Now I go have the bare minimum interaction with Dave Reddy and head right upstairs to meet with Sean. Of course, I walk right in front of a security camera, so I'll have to deal with that later. That's another thing that counts against Silent Assassin. So I realize I'm going to have to wait a while for Dave to get here, so I'm going to head out and see if I can't find a better outfit before the meeting starts. Feeling generous, I throw out a coin to brighten this guard's day just a little bit. Nice. I then compress the carotid arteries and jugular veins, causing cerebral ischemia and unconsciousness. In layman's terms, I mash X to subdue. All dressed up in a better security outfit, I head back to the meeting and introduce myself as another bald guy with the same face. I then realize this meeting sucks, the projector doesn't even work, so I head to Sean's office to see if I can lay out some kind of trap for him before he gets here. I quickly take over as Timothy Yu and reintroduce myself to Mark Faba as a third guy who looks like this. 
So Yu is showing him a few of the weapons he's been designing for Faber to possibly use on his upcoming assassination. This is a pen you can slam Mark Faber's head onto like the Joker, but I have a feeling that does not count for a silent assassin when four people see it happen. Then there's this robot you can get to kill Sean that prompts him to deliver this speech about the nature of humanity versus machine. Once we lose that, well, we're nothing more than empty shells drifting through life waiting to finally be discarded. Then maybe it's just because I've played a lot of Hitman, but I start to piece together that maybe I could kill him with this bomb. Then he leaves, but he says he will be back, so I know what I have to do. I start to clear out the scientists so there are fewer witnesses, or God forbid, casualties, and one of the scientists drops this key. It's a key to a cabinet in the room, which contains the bomb detonator, which Lord knows what that does. Pick up some snacks in the hall while I wait for Mark to get back. Once he gets back, it's time to clear out his bodyguards. Luckily, I have intel that they love apricots. But as I know all too well, apricots can be deadly. So once the room is clear, I head out and detonate the bomb from afar, completely silently. So now that I've killed him, I can't restart the mission, and if I die, I'm dead for good. Problem is, I got recorded on a camera earlier, so I have to get rid of that evidence before I can head out. Easiest place I know to do that is in the parking garage down below, the basement of this building. I'm worried this guard is gonna wake up if I destroy it right in front of him, maybe it'll be too loud, so I try to just shoot it from afar. And then he delivers a voice line, which just kinda sums up the whole game. Central. Got this asshole doing what he's not supposed to. And then if you've done the whole run silent assassin style, then escaping is the easiest part, so I just walk out the front door. And that's it! I killed Sean Bean from Pixels. I'm sorry to his fans. I think it was a great first elusive target. It's so much more involved than any of the first seasons were. I'm curious if that's gonna keep up over the course of Hitman 2 or if this is just kind of a one-off thing because they had such a special celebrity guest. So you get this explosive pen just for playing the mission, and you get this Florida outfit for any level just for playing an elusive target in Miami, and this Terminus suit is for getting Silent Assassin on any elusive target. So this mission is still playable for about a week and a half after this video goes live. If you like stealth games and you have not played Hitman or Hitman 2, then you don't like stealth games. I'm calling you out. If you want more Hitman, here's us talking about it on the podcast, and here's us playing this multiplayer mode that it has now, which is weird. That's all. Thanks for watching. Sorry, Sean.